How's it? Today is Monday, February 1st, and I'm moving away from the block power snatches today. Um, I'm just doing a new complex altogether. Power snatch and the hang power snatch. Uh, yeah, pretty much just still going up. Uh, last week I did 76 for the block power snatch 4. Set, uh, five sets of four, and today I'm doing five sets of 79 for this new, um, <coughs> this new complex. So, yeah, I thought the 76 was pretty challenging last week, and I think my best hang power snatch is actually 80. So, me doing two of them after a full power snatch or well, it's not 80 right it's 79 which is just one kilo lower but doing two definitely proved very difficult today i was able to do the power from the floor very easily um, that's very expected of me but when i got to the third rep for every single of my top sets i was just not a not attacking it with the same um, rigor and that made a lot of my um, third reps very borderline power and my rule is basically if there is any doubt then that is not a power because you know if 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 I post that online and ask power or not nah, which is the thing here's my first set power not nah online and if there's just one person that says nah then it's not a power you know it's I need it to be undeniable so the first two reps are okay on most of these sets um, but this third one is always super close uh, except the last set the last set was the best one but um, the first set, I think, or the first rep for each of the sets, I think, is pretty solid. The full power from the ground, and that's um, that's saying a lot for me. I think that I've always struggled with powers. My best power snatch is 200 pounds, so that one I would not count as a power at all. Um, my third set, I didn't video because I'm a dumb dumb. It's preoccupied with some other things on my head, and. Um, yeah, it's basically the same, follow the same suit. First, uh, power from the floor is good. Second, hang power is definitely a power. And the third one is uh, borderline again. You can see there, my second one is solid. The first um, hang is solid, solid. Ah, that one is actually not too bad. This is my fourth set. And then my fifth set, I would say is the best one. Um, I was not super happy with that little that little um, uneven step there, but everything else was pretty strong, pretty snappy. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with that. And then I moved into my snatch remaining deadlifts, which is something that is not changing at all. Actually, this is the exact rep range with the exact same weights that I did last week. I intended to go up last week from. Um, 90 to 95 but I got to my first set of 90 and I was thinking there's no way on earth I'll be be able to execute at 95 with this um, with this set of 90 being as difficult as it was so I kept this top four sets at 90 and I did the same thing this week I think um, this week felt a lot easier than last week which is a sign that I am progressing um, yeah, it's just uh, more of the same in the next chapter of my life. Um, I'm ready to I'm ready to hit some big numbers soon. I think what we're doing um, is moving the block lifts that I was doing on Monday and Wednesday in the past four weeks. We're moving those to be on Fridays. I'm interested to see what Steve wants me to do because I've never done block lifts um, heavy 
these past four weeks have actually been the first time I've been practicing for extended amounts of time off of the blocks. And I think I did improve a lot as far as positioning and speed because it did give me a little bit of time to work on strength in my posterior chain with these Romanian deadlifts and these straight leg deadlifts that I normally do on Wednesdays. So with the with that in mind, I am curious to see if I'm going to be doing full lifts off of the blocks and what type of percentages I'm hitting. It would be cool to do like like a hundred snatch and like a like a 135 clean or clean and jerk. That would be that would be the dream. But I don't know if I'll be able to actually do that. After that, I moved into my snatch push press plus overhead squat. So last week I was working up to a five plus one, so five push presses plus one overhead squat. I got up to 95, and this week I am doing three plus one, so two less push presses and then still one overhead squat, and 100 this week for the three plus one. So much easier than 95 last week for the five plus one. Like world of a difference. I think I feel much stronger and I feel I guess just the set itself is just a lot shorter so I don't feel as taxed this is my last warm-up set at 90 and here's the top one I'm grimacing there but it's it's definitely a lot easier than last week was. It's just in comparison. Yep. After that, I actually did a huge PR for my pull-up pyramid. Last week, I went up to 8 as a single. Um, and then this week, I went up to 9 and then 9, 8, 7. So that's a total of 90 reps of bodyweight pull-ups, which is big. That's a, that's a lot of pull-ups for me. And it was in a very short amount of time. Uh, after that, I finished off with some accessories um, with the GHG setup, and that's it for today. Um, today was a good workout, and I'm thankful for that. So, I'm thankful for lots of things that have happened in my life recently. But yeah, that's it for today. Shoots.